This is Did You Do It? It's 1 a.m. August 16th, 2018, and we're at the earth.nullschool.net. And uh, what I want to do is talk about Ludington, Michigan, and Mr. MBB's video about the strange rocks washing ashore. Now, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom back out. All right. And what I've got it in right now, i got it under ocean. And sea surface temperatures anomaly, anomalies. This is the departure from the average mean. And if you'll notice that the black bar is average. And the browns and then the reds and then the yellows are higher or more above the average mean than the reds. So the uh, let's see what it is. Ludington area is 0.4 degrees Celsius above the average mean. Now go off into the yellow area. That's three three degrees Celsius. Uh, two point seven, two point three, point seven. Uh, that's above the average mean. Okay, so let's check out the a actual sea surface temperatures. Now We got to above average, above average. Now we got a yellow shade, a yellow shade of yellow here. It looks like it's 21.7 degrees Celsius. Let's see, let's convert that. 21.7. Uh, about 70 degrees, 69, somewhere in there. Something like that, okay. Let's go back over here to Null School. Well, that's not telling us a whole lot as far as uh, re related to volcanoes or anything like that. So let's go over here to chemicals. And we'll click it on the sulfur dioxide and see if we got any kind of sulfur dioxide being uh, gases being emitted from the uh, lake. All right. And we know industries emit those kinds of gases too. And But let's just check it out right in the middle of Lake Michigan where we're at. It, uh, apparently that's 18.07, whatever that is. Okay, so let's just see. Over here by Ludington, that's 12, so that's less. Okay, 12, it's less on that side. So we've got 16, almost 17 in the middle. 16, 13, 9, getting less. Okay, up here, 6, 12. So our highest readings of sulfur dioxide are right smack in the middle of the lake there. 20 almost there. Okay, so now this, this is a nickel smelter up there. So... Refineries and smelters also emit those kinds of uh, gases. So this information didn't really get me what I wanted. So I got I got to uh, over to this website here. I'm going to take you to. Come on, boys. Okay, this is the uh, Great Lakes Observing System, and I ended up scrolling down to Lake Michigan, clicking on Ludington. Okay, and Ludington. All right. This is what they gave me. Very interesting, but not very, uh, not enough, really. Okay, you go down here a little bit, and seven, it tells you at different different depths what the temperature is at that at that buoy. So interesting, but like I said, nothing. This is these are some cool maps. You got to click on those. But I went down to the bottom and clicked on the meta metadata for this buoy. Okay, and I ended up going to this website. Uh, this page actually well it didn't give me what i wanted so i clicked on national data buoy center okay now wait a minute and then i opened up this page well all right well, what i actually opened up this page i'm sorry that page there and i had to scroll all the way to the bottom to get to today and I was looking at the water temperatures, 77 degrees, all right? And I was looking for water anomalies in that uh, water temperature anomalies, 76, 75, 74. Now, this is just today. So that really didn't help me. So then I went to the G-L-E-R-L, NOAA.gov website, and went a little bit farther back in time. This gives it to you in the Julian calendar. And the first one represents day 129. That's sometime in May. And I was looking at the well, water temperature right here. And then the 
All right, so the water temperature is what I was looking at, this column. All right, and then also the air temperature because the two, uh, you know, usually the water temperature lags the air temperature a little bit. And I didn't see anything too unusual. I mean, different, yes, but not too unusual until down here somewhere. Okay. Bear with me, please. There we are. I'll see where to go. Temperature's rising. 69. 71, 70, okay, water's getting warmer, 70, 69, this sucks, 69, where'd it go, 70, okay, I think it's coming up, 71, 72, 73, okay, 73, got some 73 degree temperatures on day 196, okay, so let's just see, watch that, 73, 73, 72, 71, 71, 60, okay, it's dropping, it's dropping, 50 degrees on day 199, so it went from 73 to 50 degrees in four days, well, I'm sure they got an explanation for that, let's go check this out, okay, so Lake Michigan water temperature crashes in just two days, the problem is what we just looked at wasn't the same dates, but they're trying to explain upwelling in this article, I'm going to give you all the links. It's upwelling. The days preceding had a southwest wind, the days, and then it changed to northeast wind, whatever, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to give you that link too. And then we, I ended up at the uh, NOAA.gov website here, just checking out the water temperature data. Center for Environmental Information. Clicked on the Ludington buoy. And said they weren't reporting, so I ended up over... Well, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Let's see where I ended up. Okay. I ended up uh, going into the real-time data for the last 45 days. And what I noticed here was... Well, I better take you back up here and show you. The water temperature is this column right here. Right, like five over from the right, and the air temperature is right next to it. Now this is uh, August sixteenth is the top, so I'm gonna take you back to July first is when they began the last forty five days. So sixteen fifty sixteen degrees Celsius, sixteen twenty 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 nineteen eighteen. Let's see. Okay, there it is. Okay, so the water temperature is 22 degrees Celsius, uh, July 17th. Okay, 21 degrees. It's getting cooler. Seven, well, that's a pretty big drop. 21, 2019 on the 18th of July, 17, 16. Look at this drop. 19, 12 degrees Celsius on the 18th, just a couple days later. 10 degrees Celsius. And we got then down to 9 degrees Celsius on July 18th. And then, 10, it warms right back up pretty quick. Okay, and then there's missing data there. Right back up to 16, 12 degrees, stays cool. 14, stays cool for a while. Then right back up to 21 degrees Celsius. Now, I will give you these, uh, all the... Uh, the Julian calendar, and I'll give you the centigrade conversion chart. I'll give you all these websites. But I think with all these websites, oh, in addition to that, I want to give you this one here. Is it uh, a volcano? Well, this is geology. Of, this is the basement geology of uh, a cutaway view of Michigan and part of Illinois and Wisconsin there. And apparently, I was looking for igneous outcroppings. This is my search. I'll show you. Michigan Igneous Outcroppings, and I clicked on the geology, uh, MSU. Okay, and then it took me to this. And they were talking about the lower peninsula and the eastern parts of the upper peninsula are underlaid by a series of sedimentary rock layers. These uh, rock formations consist 